hello guys welcome to this channel in this video i will show you how to model a candela okay building form in revit so in this project i use this millimeter template Okay. No. So this is the mask okay. phone Felix Candela in Revit. Okay, first thing I will do is to command for the shortcut RP or reference plane. Okay, before we push, uh, we start the model, I would like to ask to everyone that uh, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, or subscribe so that you always update once I make a video tutorial like this okay so in this project i use this model in place okay mass okay and now i use this inscribe polygon draw like this eight sides okay so now I just simply place a point in the middle and I just normalize or make a parameter here. I name it M. And I just simply place a point here. in all of the sides okay and now i just make this spline to all of this point element okay so once you have this complete this place another point here okay and i just simply normalize it this i just rename it this in wa okay okay and i go here and check the wa and i change this into point one okay so I just pick again this, okay, and I just make a put in the end. Okay. Point one. Apply so you go there, okay. And I just simply place a point in all of this corner. Okay. And okay. And now I just simply hold the ship. Okay. Okay. And now, 
I delete this because I don't need this anymore. Only this that I my reference. Okay, to do control shift again. Okay, do it in every part so it's too boring. Okay. Okay, so once you have this, okay, we need to select all of this, okay, all uh, middle uh, point element. And normalize this or make a offset or add the parameter type. Okay, let's say top. Okay, remember that is the top and hit. Okay, okay, and now we need to make a spline again of these three. Okay. Okay, so once you complete this, okay, go to 3D. Let's check. Okay, I just zoom it like this. Zoom in, okay. I just change this into 3000. Okay, in the middle, this is the one. Check. Is going up okay counter check in south elevation see he's going up at three meters okay the top is seven thousand boom okay apply and hit okay so now this is the already the shape of the candela a building type okay so it's easy it's very quick to draw it okay so now what i'm going to do is to build now okay the roof of this one okay so what I'm going to do is to pick this and pick this one, okay, and make a spline. Okay. And I just simply pick this and create form solid form. Okay. And I choose this. Okay, and I normalize this, uh, let's say, in the top offset. Okay, new type thickness. Okay, and go to family types. And I just adjust this thickness, okay, into 100. See? Now it's... If I change this into pine and realistic, this is what he look. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is to pick this, okay, and make sure that you check the reference line, okay. So now what I'm going to do is to pick this, create form, solid form, pick this, okay, and normalize the positive offset of the same as the root thickness, okay, 
so now we will have three two option here to pick this okay hit the tab pick the out oh, sorry okay double the tab okay divide surface okay this is the option one and go to family new and make a generic model to the glass pattern and the mullion of this one okay but for me i don't like that one because you do it a uh, more time okay so what i'm going to do is to i just hit finish okay and i just go to massing inside okay wall pick this okay and i just change this into this store rank Okay, so the storefront what I use. So it's up to each and everyone. If what you want. Okay. So now I will just go again in inside the, this uh, mask. Okay. And I just do it the same on here. Okay it form solid form and go to the positive offset thickness boom automatic so you can do it all in this sides okay So my tutorial is uh, finished in this part, okay? So I hope that uh, it's very clear to each and everyone how pass or how to model the candela shape, okay? Um, that uh, using a storefront in Revit. So 
Thank you to all of you. I hope that uh, it's very clear to each and everyone. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, or subscribe so that you're always updated once I make a video tutorial like this. See you in my next video.